not a whole lot of good things you can say about cancer. Treatment can ravage a body and place heavy burdens on both the patient and their caregivers. But tonight, Suzanne Lawler shows you how some patients at Navicent Health have found a haven of sorts by putting color on canvas. Didn't sleep well last night. Woke up <clears throat> about an hour and a half earlier than I really needed to this morning. and thought to myself, if I could call in sick for this treatment, I would call in sick. But Julie German can't call in sick for chemotherapy. She has uterine cancer. You do dread having to come and, you know, knowing that they're putting those chemicals into your body and it's, it's supposed to be for your good, but the side effects are so rough. It's a landscape and it's gonna have a barn and a windmill. I like old country farms. Okay, now that same flower you just painted there, I want you to put me a small one here. Cancer is the devil in this room. Folks come to the seventh floor at Navicent Health to get treatment, but they can also get a dose of art therapy. I am painting some pumpkins. This is Jane Boxton's second round with breast cancer. You know, keep your mind off of it have your mind going somewhere else and keep you from thinking about the treatment. Sometimes you're stuck here for several hours. And time isn't a friend when you're battling a foe. It gives you time to dwell. Many times Julie works to keep her mind busy, but on this day she opted for art. I am painting uh, or attempting to paint a bouquet of African violets. This is just some of the medical research that's out there that says that painting is actually good for folks getting chemotherapy. It helps them fight cancer. They've actually done studies that are specific to certain ethnicity groups to see how it decreases the blood pressure. Um, for example, there's this scholarly article on African, African American women and how it decreases blood pressure. So research is ongoing, but I think they are only finding positive responses from this. Jill Hancock is a nursing director, and she says she's seen what a few brush strokes can accomplish. Some of my patients posting on Facebook about their experience that day and how the art therapy relaxed them and how they had the best day ever at chemo today. And to have someone tell you that they had a good day while they were getting chemotherapy, is pretty amazing. Cancer is still, well, cancer. And Julie will always have some anxiety about the needle. But painting can calm her. You're letting that stress flow through that paintbrush onto that board and help her outlook. It's a relief to not have to think about your disease. No matter what the future may hold. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. Now there's no charge for the art therapy program. Navison also has an outpatient art program over at the Peyton Anderson Cancer Center on the third Tuesday of each month. It's for the patient. They can also bring a caregiver with them. For more information, you can call 478-633-8537.